first hole, say pull driver, and you've been hitting a draw today, but you're gonna have to hit a fade here. Let's see what you can do. You can smile. I'm gonna be controlling Daniel's game. Yeah, I told him they had a nice little fade and he had a little chunky draw. He and Chris I didn't fade. fade. It was always below my, or above my feet. It just kind of shows you the difference in how people think when they're playing golf. A lot of reading for nothing. I have to remember I'm not working with a tour pro like myself. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the match play videos. So this is going to be a pretty interesting video. Um, I'm going to be controlling Daniel's game. And what I mean by that is I'm going to tell him what club to hit and how far to hit it and what shot shape to hit it. And you know what we should have done? We should have came up with some kind of punishment if he didn't do it. Anyways, so I'm going to control Daniel's game for the next three holes and see how good he can play. All right, Daniel, first hole. How far is this hole? 421. 421. Pretty tricky. I'm going to say pull driver. And you've been hitting a draw today, but you're going to have to hit a fade here. Let's see what you can do. You can smile. That's exactly what I had in mind. 133 out. 133, pin looks back right. I'm gonna say, hit a nice little fade pitching wedge, land it a little short, let it release to the back. Beautiful drive, by the way. Thanks. All right, so I chose pitching wedge there for Daniel. He told me he would have picked gap wedge to take the back out of play since the pin is in the back. He didn't want to be short-sided. So it just kind of shows you the difference in how people think when they're playing golf. All right, so you got plenty of green to work with to get your 60 in your hand. Yep. That's kind of what I wanted anyways. Okay. I want you to run the ball up there. You got plenty of green to work with. I don't see the need in flying it to the pin. So just kind of chunk and run it up there close. That way you tap in your par. All right, that shot was a little more than I was anticipating. So now you got a little downhill left to rider. It looks like greens are really fast today, so. I want you to hang it out about three cups. Three cups out to the left. Three cups out to the left, yes. And it's kind of uphill to start with, so I want you to get it at the top of the hill and then have it trickle down to the pin. At least save your buggy. You think it does go? Yeah, it does go right to left for sure. Yeah, I see right edge. I say right edge firm. If you're gonna go a little bit softer, I say just just barely like die it in the hole, just outside right. You want me to die it in the hole? No, I want you to hit it firm right edge. That was straight. A lot of reading for nothing. I have par five, 563. You've been hitting a nice tight draw with your driver today. I want That's exactly what I want you to do. Two bunkers out there. I want you to aim at the right bunker, the tight draw and finish on the left bunker. If on not a little, if not left of the left bunker? on or a little left of it. Like that? So Daniel has played pretty decent so far. His problem on the first was he, he didn't hit his pitching wedge like I told him to. So it left him in a tough spot. He, he told me to. Exact, yeah, I told him to hit a nice little fade and he had a little chunky draw. He had a nice little uh, 
clean, crisp. I of it was always below my, or above my feet. Yeah, yeah, excuse us. I'm controlling your game here. Um, aside from that, his, his chip was a little off, but um, one over through one is not the end of the world. So he had a nice drive on two. We'll see where this takes him. 221. 221 yards. Pin, I don't remember where the pin was. Front? Looks like it's in the front. Front, right, right back, usually you can't see it. Sorry for the noise. There's a fellow weed eating over here. Um, 221. I say pull, I say pull three wood. It's a little uphill. You hit your three wood about 240 carry. And I think if you kind of hit it up in the air. And. <laughs> oh, well. So I say three wood, a good three wood. Maybe draw three. Well, hit a fade three wood. Yeah, mud ball. Fade three wood. Watch your ball. <laughs> 82 yards. 82. All right, I want you to start doing what I'm telling you to do. You keep laying up. He keeps asking me to do fades and hitting draws all day. So he just got his three wood yeah. off the ground somehow. So, 82 yards. I want you to pull your 60. Okay. And I want you to land it far and spin it back a little bit. Because it looks like the pin's on the front. You got a bunker short, so I really don't want you missing short. Is that I want 82? You, 82. So you mean hit like 85? 85. 85, yeah. Something like that. And right then, right at that bush back there. And then spin it back. Spin it back just a little bit. Or just let it sit down. Mm. All right. So he hit it about 95 yards. You facing me? Yeah, I'm facing you. Oh. Hit about, he hit it about 95 yards, and he's got a really tough downhill putt now. Thinned it a little bit. I have to remember I'm not working with a tour pro like myself. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the match play videos. With the triple on the second hole today. Yeah. All right, greens are fast. I don't see too much break in it. I think I see it going a little left to right. So I say, I say about a cup and a half or two cups out to the left. And just die it down there? Oh yeah, of course. You can't give it any pace. This is for Daniel's par, and it looks very straight. I'm just gonna say go right at it. Firm. I know it's firm. Come back down. <laughs> just tap it in. Holes down, buggy buggy. Um, he's not playing bad. I, I'm telling him shots he's really not used to hitting the last couple times we've played. Um, draw's really been working for him, so I'm really making him work for it. But he is two over through two. He's got one more to go. 451. 451 yards. Probably the hardest hole in, what do you think? It's definitely the hardest hole in the area. Yeah, I would say so. You think Northeast Georgia, maybe? Probably. Hardest right. hole in Northeast uh, Georgia, maybe. Maybe. It's tough. What'd you say, 451? 451. 451. Requires a fade. I'm going to say pull three wood. Three wood, yeah. Three wood, and I think you can hit a fade. I'm going to tell you to hit a fade again. On a tee or off a tee? On a tee. Fade on a tee. Okay. One seven six. One seven six. On a downhill slope. That's probably normally a six iron for you. A light six. 
Uh, on downhill slopes, probably, yeah. Uh, one second, I'm talking yeah, probably, stock. Yeah, stock, probably, probably white six. White six. I'm going to say hit a draw seven. Three quarters six. I don't know. What you, yeah, I'm going to say draw seven off this. I'm going to give it to you on a silver platter. Hit a nice draw, seven. Yeah, on a downhill slope. That, hey, don't make excuses. <laughs> Pins in the de dead center. Nice draw, seven. Let me start it. Let me finish. Um... Well, you, the cart in the back, that's about where I want you to start it, between the cart and that guy. So you want like a baby draw? A little baby draw, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's see if we can Wind's do. a little bit behind, so I don't think you're going to have to f swing out of your shoes, especially on the no, downhill slope. Out of a hole right here, just... Yeah. Want that acknowledged? Excuses, man. That's two in the same sentence. Hey, you want me to get good golf or get have good excuses? Be the number. Good shot. That's what happens when you listen to me. All right. We are cooking with gas now. Daniel finally listened to me. He's got about 15 feet for his bird. Nice tight draw off the downhill last seven iron. 165, however long it was. 176. 176. Actually, <laughs> 65, seven so, iron. Jeez. So he's got a putt for his bird. All right, Daniel. It's gotta be coming off the back hill. I'm gonna say, yes, left or right, for sure. So I'm gonna say, it's not much actually from this side. I'm gonna say a cup out left, and it's gonna be pretty quick. So dying it in a cup out. Yes, a cup out, dying it in. We gotta finish with at least a par. Be a birdie, man, what's she <laughs> talking about? You'd listen to me. Far I started out. About two and a half cups. That would have been right in the center of the in the hole. It's hard. Golf's easy. See if you can make your tap in for par. Golf's easy when you're just telling people what to do. Right edge. Well done. What was that two over? Two over, two over through three. Yep. So, not great golf, but not bad. Considering Caleb, my caddy wasn't too great, too fair to me. Whatever. Giving me hard shots to, to hit. I mean, what do you do?